Bodie, California is a town frozen in time and preserved by California State Parks in a state of arrested decay. They do not restore the buildings. Instead, they chose to simply preserve the buildings in their aged and weathered 1880s appearance. In 1859, William, a.k.a. Waterman S. Bodie, discovered gold near what is now called Bodie Bluff. A mill was established in 1861, and the town began to grow. It started out with about 20 miners and grew to an estimated 10,000 people by 1880. By then, the town of Bodie bustled with families, robbers, miners, store owners, gunfighters, prostitutes, and people from every country in the world. At one time, there was reported to be 65 saloons in town. Among the saloons were numerous brothels and houses of ill repute, gambling halls and opium dens, an entertainment outlet for everyone. In the 1940s, the threat of vandalism faced the ghost town. The Kane family, who owned much of the land, hired caretakers to protect and maintain the town's structures. Martin Giannatoni, one of the last three people living in Bodie in 1943, was a caretaker. Bodie is now an authentic Wild West ghost town. The town was designated a National Historic Landmark in 1961, and in 1962, the state legislature organized the creation of Bodie State Historic Park. A total of 170 buildings remain. Bodie has been named as California's official state gold rush ghost town. Over the decades, the curse of Bodie has been the subject of rumor, ghost hunter lore, and online chatter, and it promises bad luck, health problems, and even mysterious accidents. If you find yourself a visitor of Bodie, just remember, legend has it that any visitor who dares take anything, even a rock, from the gold rush town will be punished. One regretful visitor had this to say, Fair warning for anyone that thinks this is just folklore. My life has never seen such turmoil. Please, take my warning and do not remove even a single speck of dust.